Hey there, this is John Alexa from Pro Sectorials where I talk about professional websites in five steps. And in this video I'm going to explain how you can analyze keyword competition. And for this you should already have a good listing of keywords so you can start working with. But if you still don't have it then check my previous videos where I talk about the top 10 tools that you can use for this. Anyway, when it comes to competition it's really important for you to be able to analyze it because only by doing so can you see if it's actually worth building content around the particular keyword or not. And this really depends on how strong is the competition for that keyword. So in this video I'm going to explain how you can do this. The first thing that you want to do is simply log out from your Google Plus account before you start doing keyword research. And the reason why you want to do that is because uh, if you have your account active, the results that you will get will be based on the information that you have in your account. So the first thing that you do is simply log out. And the second thing is you want to have Mosbar installed, which is this small application appearing. For that, I already explained previously, but you just go to Google and search for Mos, and you can see that it's this first website appearing. So you just enter in this website, install their application so you can start using it. So now let's get started and let's see how you can do this. Okay, once it comes to analyzing the competition for your keywords, there are some things that should really take into account. One of them is the age of your website. By this I mean the new your website is, the more you should focus on building content around keywords which have low competition or no competition at all, because at least your website page will be able to rank on the first page of the results for those keywords quickly and you will start seeing some traffic to your website. The other thing is really about not overanalyzing your keyword competition. Because there are so many aspects when it comes to why a website is outranking another that if you focus on all of that you will waste a lot of time and you won't do what is really most important for you which is building content for your website. That's really the most important thing, is really building a lot of content for your website which has quality. What I'm going to talk to you, what I'm going to explain now is just a few tips which will allow you to quickly see that one keyword is just way too competitive for you and another one has lower competition you might actually be able to rank the websites over there. Okay, so you want to grab a keyword that you have on your listing copy and paste it over here to Google search box. So let's say that I want to analyze how to make, uh, how to attract women. Okay, I'm pretty certain based on my experience that this keyword is quite competitive and if I had a new website I probably wouldn't focus on building content immediately for this keyword. Or if I did build content for this keyword I wouldn't expect to immediately or anytime soon being able to rank on the first page of the results. Because the first page of the results is really what you should focus on. You should focus on the websites that are appearing over here and not the ones that are appearing the second, third page because that doesn't really matter because people very rarely ever go to the second or third page. So your direct competition is really this 10 results that appear over here, this 10 websites. And the first thing that you want to see is how relevant are those websites. By this I mean how closely related are these websites to this keyword that I inserted to the search box. You can see for example this first website, How to Trap Women. You can see that the, the exact keyword that I inserted over here appears on the meta title for this website. It also appears on the URL. And these are the two most important parts where you should always insert your main keywords. I'm not saying these are the only factors that it comes into uh, optimizing your website pages, but these are the two most important parts where you should always put your keywords. So just a quick look, I can immediately see that this website seems well optimized. Let's check the other website. How to attract women once again appearing on the URL, on the meta title for this website. In this case it's not appearing on the URL. 
But something that you will notice after a while of doing some keyword research is that some a group of websites will always constantly appear on every single result. And those are websites that are very, very popular in this niche. In this case, I know that Ask Men is very popular on the dating uh, niche for men. So it's really hard for me if with a new website to ever outrank this website over here because it's been on the internet for years, has thousands and thousands of links, thousands of pages, thousands of uh, Google uh, likes, uh, Google pluses, Facebook likes, Twitter, and so on. So it's really hard for me with the new website to help rank this one. Let's check the other one. 20 female dating experts reveal how to attract women. So you can see once again the keyword appearing over here. Also on the URL. And basically just a quick look. I can see that most of these websites seem well optimized. Probably these last ones aren't exactly optimized because they don't have the exact keyword that I inserted, but they have uh, similar keywords. Techniques on attracting women. It's quite similar to the one that I inserted on the search box. And one website over here, for example, this one. Actually, what I want to talk about now is the other aspect, which is page authority. That's the other aspect that you want to see. Page authority is basically how popular a website is on the internet. In this punctuation, you can see using the most bar, you can see that you get over here some uh, values. And this punctuation goes from 0 to 100. 100 being the most popular uh, website on the internet. For example, YouTube has 100. And 0 or 1 being a new website on the internet. So once you create a website, you will have 0 or 1 and has your website ages, it starts getting more punctuation. One thing that you will notice is, for example, this website doesn't have, uh, it just has 32 points. It's not huge. It has a page authority. Actually, this over here has 55 points, which is quite huge. But you can see that over here, I think this website over here has the actually this website over here has just 20 points when it comes to page authority and it's actually outranking other websites that seem really well optimized and have far more page authority than this one and as i said that's why you shouldn't overanalyze because there are so many aspects uh, the reason why this website is outranking the other ones it might actually have more google pluses more tweets more likes on facebook compared to the other ones uh, below or probably once someone goes to this to this listing they find this title more interesting and they click on this website more compared to the other ones that's another aspect which really influences your website page on the internet is the click through that you have for that website page so there are so many aspects which is not uh, it's really hard for you to analyze them and it's just not worth your time what you can see over here quickly is that this keyword seems quite competitive especially if you have a new website and if you build content around this keyword it might take uh, plenty of months it might take even years for you to actually get over here to this result so let's try another keyword so I can show what exactly you need what exactly you need to search for when it comes to keywords that you may want to try to rank for. So I'm going to over here to the suggestions and see what I can see. And based on my experience, I think this one, how to attract women on Facebook, may be a keyword that not many people are writing articles around. So I'm just going to select this one. Okay. So you are going basically use the same uh, idea that I explained previously. You are going to see how relevant these results are, how to track women on Facebook. This is the main keyword that I inserted. You can see that five tips to track women on Facebook is quite similar, but the keyword is not the exact one that I inserted over here. This one actually has the exact keyword. 
how to attract women on Facebook. Actually, how to attract face, how to attract women, Facebook. And let's just check the last result. One simple technique to attract girls on Facebook. Okay, so the content over here, the website pages, some seem well optimized, others don't seem really well optimized, but they are quite relevant to what I've actually wrote over here. So that's the first thing that you want to see if you actually can build content that is even more specific to this keyword. And probably you can build, probably you can actually build a, a post where you talk, where you actually insert how to attract women on Facebook, on your meta title, also on your URL, and have a website that is more optimized than the ones that you see over here. Now the other thing, the second thing, is the page authority. What you want to see is plenty of pages that have one point of page authority. As I said previously, these are probably new website pages that appeared on the internet. And actually you can see quite a few of them. So you want to see a lot of page, uh, page authority, pages with just one point, between one point to 20 points. In this case, you see plenty of them that have just one point. In this case, this last one just have has 14 points. The other thing that you want to see is websites, if those websites are really focused on that niche or not. So if you go to um, a result and you start seeing, for example, hub pages, someone actually decided to write uh, for hub pages, and this is a website where you basically just uh, make articles and post over there. So it's not a website that is focused entirely on the niche when it, uh, on the dating niche for men. You can see a Facebook page. You can see um, HeHow, another website which is not entirely focused on the dating niche for men. Also some YouTube videos. So basically you can see plenty of websites that are not directly focused on the niche of dating for men. So that's also a good tip of the competition that you have over there. So you want to see hub pages, you want to see how, how, you want to see Facebook profile or fan pages or whatever. In this case it's notes. You want to see Google Plus um, pages. You want to see he how and just based on that information also forum posts is also another uh, good tip and based on that information you can see that those websites are not directly focused on that niche and it may actually be a good idea for you to build content for this uh, keyword which is how to track women on Facebook. So let's go just quickly through all of the aspects so you can really grasp the idea. The first thing that you want to see is how relevant are the titles, the meta titles appearing over here, the URL, see how closely related they are to this keyword. A second thing that you want to see is the page authority. You want to see plenty of page uh, pages with just one point, between one point to 20 points of authority and that means that probably there are new websites on the internet, new website pages. And the third thing that you want to see is uh, websites that are not completely dedicated to that niche appearing on the results. Because if you build a website dedicated to that niche with just content around the dating niche, then you certainly will outrank the other ones which doesn't don't belong to that specific niche. So those are three aspects which will quickly allow you to see the competition for the keywords that you have. Okay, that is all for this video. I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe so you can receive my weekly video updates. That is all for now. Stay tuned with Pro Tutorials and bye.